Sorry, could you repeat that question? <laughs> uh, a defense attorney, uh, was a defense attorney correct in his letter to the editor saying that another well-known, uh, very visible Missoulian tainted the jury pool in the Jordan Johnson case? I'm sorry, but I can't give you a yes or no answer on that. Um, the answer is I don't know uh, because I was not involved in that case at all and did not sit through any jury selection and have no idea of what um, jurors that uh, came into that trial uh, thought of anything. I'm not sure I'd give you a yes or no either. If that's, you know, I don't recall a particular letter like that. I do recall Pat Williams making comments, and I believe they're accusations, that he tainted the jury pool with his uh, opinions about what was happening in our community. Uh, and I don't believe that's correct. I don't believe the jury pool was tainted in that, in any way. Dealing with the media is always an issue in any trial. And as we all know, that was the, the trial that received international attention. Um, and so as a trial attorney, you're always trying to, to, come, to mediate some of those things that are going out there in the, in the media. You don't have a lot of control over that. That being said, I don't think that this is actually going to take us forward. I, it, this isn't, uh, it's, it's not constructive to getting us where we need to go. Moving forward, we need to look towards how are we going to better deliver services to victims? How are we going to better cooperate with law enforcement agencies? How are we going to better uh, make commitments to some of our colleagues in the civil arena?